So that's the uh, little intro riff thing and a strum pattern you could use could be like so let me show you these riffs uh, before we get started go ahead hit the like and subscribe so I can keep making these videos for you all and let's get into it so I threw a capo on first fret um, you're gonna have to use your thumb over the top uh, for this intro riff thing to grab the first fret. All right, so you're gonna pluck the E string first fret, and then you're gonna pluck open B, and then first fret of B, and then ring finger sets down third fret of high E, and then you go back to first fret of B. So you've got So that's E, open B, first fret of B, ring finger, third fret of high E, back to first fret of B. Next riff is, so what that is, ring finger, third fret of low E. Again, you're gonna do open B, first fret of B, and then open G. Then you're going to go to open A with that same riff as the first chord. Open B, first fret of B, ring finger, third fret of high E, back to first fret of B. Then to end this round of the riff, you go open E, and then you go open B, first fret of B, open G second fret of G and I'm using middle finger for that second fret of G so you've got so you put that all together all right second time through is pretty much the same Here, when you get to the E, open E, you're gonna go. So that's just open B, first fret of B, open B, open G, second fret of G. All right. So you put it all together. Now for the strum pattern, um, I think this is just a really neat way to do it. You put your index finger first fret of B, and we're going to play an F major 7, sort of an open sounding F shape. And then you've got your ring finger here on third fret of A, pinky third fret of D. So you've got, uh, I would not strum the low E string very much, or see if you can mute out the low E, maybe with the top of your ring finger or something. And the strum pattern just just simple down 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 up down up and you just take that shape slide it up two frets and you've got your G shape all right then you're gonna go to an A minor shape index finger first fret of B middle finger second fret of D ring finger second fret of G and we're gonna go to E minor but your middle finger is already where it needs to be on that second fret of the D Index finger comes up to second fret of the A. So you put that all together. And all this is a lot quicker in the song. There's, there's definitely a higher tempo rate in the song. So this riff is really hard to play fast <laughs> so just be ready for that and then of course the strumming is going to be more like more about that pace 
case. But anyway, if this lesson was helpful for you, please go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you on the next video.